Stu versus TSM. It's a quick control for Gen.G up towards V Long Air. Ooh, Levi able to get out to safety. Quick shorty engagement there. Wardell is down. And of course, the fight continues as Gen.G just blasts their way onto the site. It's going to be the retake for TSM. That initiation for GMT's paranoia was so good under Wardell. Can't use the shorty at that range. Ooh, that's crazy. And they push elbow as well. That's going to at least nullify that frag. And Sean, like a turret, just on the double stack, finds... And the executor's on. Oh, Wardell is so low. This is very tricky for TSM. Gimon just sprays through, runs and guns, finds another one with the Wardell back sight. Three members strong now for TSM. Hayes late to the party, but now Sabrosa's coming in hot, finds two on the trade. 3v2 with Spike still not down. Hayes now has finally arrived. Levi poking around the elbow. The Spike is not down. Levi waiting for them to make a move. Snake bite available. There it goes. Going to stop and delay, but still has a position to do so. They know Hayes on the other side. Levi comes out from elbow. Now it's just down to Hayes, and they are just playing and toying with him at this point. The knowledgeable of this. Hayes still not spraying. The spike will go down. Finally, the spray will connect. The swing out. Hayes for two. Wonderfully done, but it's even. 3v3. TP over towards the bathroom, and Gimon is going to enter from the backside. As they set up the post plant position with the mollies. That's this toxic screen. It's one molly, so this won't delay for that much, but GMD's position also playing through that Viper's Pit might do good. Ace actually refreshes it though, and he gets him. So that's not a worry anymore. They just have to worry about short. Shock oh guard also connects. Goodness. Leviathan shown his impact so far. It's almost a half. Not to half. But it should still oh my goodness. I can't believe it. It's close. I can't believe it. No way. I'm a little aggressive this round, and so far, it's working out. These positions that they've held, they found multiple frags, particularly around a short. Broza and Hayes working together. Wardell finds some action over towards B. Now it's just down to nature. That's a little bit, uh, a little bit surprising. They just kind of. Caught Genji a little bit by surprise. You saw Genji defaulting early. They left the spike really, really deep. Crossfire on site too. So Bang winning that could mean the round. A little delay here from Hayes as they start to rush in. One goes down. Two for Hayes. Will he spray down one more? No. Nature takes a little bit of damage, but Bang still holding off the push from Hookah. Meanwhile, a lot of space has been gathered by Kusta. All the way through U-Haul. It's going to at least allow them to plant, but... They have Orbital Strike, though. He has Orbital Strike. It's going to go off, and he goes through the port. He goes up away. Does he have time to plant? It's going to be close. He's no, gonna, no with the recon bolt. That's just gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Kusa in the back line like he was the, the entire time. This is his gun here. Oh, no. Gee. Uh-oh. I've been trying Watch to it. avoid... Levi, just as good as producing Hunter's Furies as he is dodging them, but Sean gets right up there with the backstab, but has to reload the clip. Ace still finds one through the toxic screen as Wardell's posted up here in heaven, and boom! That's the Sova down, just down to nature. First time we're seeing the benefits of the Viper World on the attack side. So how do you break through here? No drone available for Leviathan, and there's a big flash, but Whoa. Wardell's full blind! Full blind with the knives! He's able to get that still. Yeah. Recoverable round now, because they're out on site. Still though the spike ticks. Sabrosa out the swing, but the pit is still up. Of course, Nature has to back away. There's going to be the tap. Levi ready to pop right out. Spray still good, though, for Nature. As Wardell's very low, the knives are good. He knows where he is, pushing him fast, but no. Nature's got the thrifty. They know what's up. DP to heaven. Will it be committed to? Kimon does stay to it, but Sabrosa was there waiting in the smoke. Wardell finds one in the process. Another shot comes in for Wardell, just down to nature, and he is dead to rights. TSM. I'm going to be posted up here in Hookah. Kusta's playing close, not towards the shed, like you said. Likely ready for the swing, though, actually. A quick shot. Sabrosa's down. 
quick dirt nap for him as they take the engagement long range and they'll work together fight through the pistols sean just waiting for the push from hookah finds one as well wardell is the last man standing as he tailwinds up onto the box trying to take this duel sean has to reload the cliff running out of ammo what has pushed up similar to last round but this time it's the gun round and he's down no success on that hold and this a site is wide open for tsm to plant that's good stuff try and take advantage of the no sentinel but bang is there and they're actually going to trade him no matter what in that situation pretty much but sean finds another one he's leviathan doing all the way back by himself there and he falls back too so now they actually have to pay attention to the flank where it's not really coming in due time yeah, and there's gonna be an upgrade as well for sean to pick up but let's have a look at the battle here at hand Nature finds an opening pick here on the hold onto Hayes, and they're all very low here for Gen.G, so anything is possible for TSM, but their goal is to just get these weapons out of the hands of TSM at all costs necessary. Molotov to delay once more. John waiting for it to tick as he's positioned down short. Iman on the swing finds one from range. And now you can see Wardell has to escape. And guess who's right there to accept him? It's Sean. Little upgrade for him. The round is won. But at what cost? TSM, so many weapons lost. But again, utility slowly starting to stack up. Of course, with winning the round, they're hoping for everything. <laughs> Mikael comes running out with the shorty. Let's get traded. Iman wants to pinch in Levi, and they're actually going to pinch in with Pusta as well, who teleports in. But of course, Levi sidesteps, looks for Iman here as well. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is starting to slowly slip away from TSM. Just down to Levi and Gen G. Here's a herd of wildebeests running through, getting into the off angle. Paranoia to try to help him out. Doesn't matter though, because he still finds one anyways. Now Gimon waiting for his moment to shine. A quick tailwind. No, not going to survive. And Sean with two. Gimon now is going fishing. And he comes up with a silver bass just down to Sabrosa. And he is down and out. Round 11 for Gen G. What is that from Sean? Like, how does he get that second kill? I am mind blown. Just running with the Phantom. Raise a little bit into elbow. Nature survives, and they will get complete control of the site. Retake will have to come in for Genji. It's a little dangerous. No big ults unless Nature gets onto the site. And he's playing all the way back at elbow as well, so. He's down to TSM right here, hitting the shots. Uh -oh. He's gonna flash quick at Wardell, but Dart's not helping. Sabrosa with two. Oh, he's inside the two, but all of a sudden it's all up to Levi. Art's available. He can get sprayed here as well. Econ goes in. Now he's got the shock darts as well. He gets sprayed here very dangerously. Another one goes in! Finds Gimon! But still the spray. Just tough territory. Lots of sprayable material there. Diffuse will come in and it's match point. Knowing that this may be a lost cause, leave Hayes behind, but they need to worry about Sean who's running fast. Hayes manages to deal with one, but they need to deal with the planter. Sabrosa gets in. There's going to be the TP as Gimon will take him down. One more comes in. Gimon! How? Stop this! 2v2. Last player standing. One player remaining just down to Gimon. They could swing off this together, but he's in the sight. Now going to start playing it. The running coming. The one, the two, but bang! Manages to clean that one up. Just can make that pinch even more greater, but they have to respect the potential short push, and especially with Sean falling like that, that can make things a little troublesome. But bang gets tagged by the drone. Now he's going to pop through the cabbages. They're just going to rush them down, and it works so well for Gen G. Now they'll get the plant down. Won't be allowed to leave the showers, but at least TSM know that a lot of players are stuck here. Good shot, though, from Hayes to take out Kusta and a Viper's Pit as well to try to keep things in contention here. Gen G, they're slowly inching forward, want to take care of the Viper, but Hayes survives and takes down BMD. Just down to Nature and Mikael. Wardell with the op and the knives and Hookah as they're just taking them around and around and around the pit they go. Hayes with four. Oh, Gimond, what are you up to? What are you up to? You crazy, you mad lad. Only finds one. Bang will put a nail in his coffin. Nature's still on the site, though, as Kusta is flanking around. 
gone laying in wait around the bathrooms and he's going to find himself a little haze waits for it finds a one two punch as bang will be able to stop the bleeding temporarily but this is a 2v2 and very dangerous as well sean manages to find a showstopper which means wardell's got to be very careful with this op posted up the boost out shot as well they don't have a lot of time the flank from kusta this could be it sean genji with the thrifty close out map number one be able to get out of this he might have a paranoia set up with the camera there it is a big flash oh. he gets always go for more oh he's getting close to he's maybe feeling himself a little bit too much does eventually get taken down mikhail here on the site finds one right <laughs> through the sliver there of the cage and nature just waiting to pop out no utility available waiting for of course the members to run in down, just down a wardell finds one but of course mikhail down below can swing off of that and because it's going to be a one-two punch they can at least fight off these players first and probably do a lot of damage Ooh. Your point comes to throwing the frag as well. Unfortunately, your comrade has fallen, throwing another flash in to just delay them. And he's buying time. 30 seconds left. They got to move fast. Players are coming in from behind. Nature finds one. You see Gimon. He's running. He's gunning. He walks in a great pinch as well. One more around the swing. Haze at least finds one on the way out. It's just down Acousta. Bare minimum. Op still in the hands here of Wardell. Spike being planted. Onus now on Acousta. He's going to pick up a weapon. Maybe not the one that he would have hoped. Oh, that Molly doesn't actually tag him. It could have been vulnerability. Wardell's trained on AMA, and if he stays in heaven, this would be a very difficult thing to cross on. And that's what he's going to have to deal with next, because Hayes is down. Usta has to be very careful. Oh, he jumps out. It's great. Or DSM have expended a lot of utility to try to push them back and try to take this control. Oh, this is a little dangerous. Oh, a little dangerous. And he's shot with two big kills nuts crazy what a start another one comes in for mikhail pops the cage he is feeling good now wow that's that's ridiculous from sean jimmy's still aggressive oh my goodness. like once nature got that pick they don't have that same mid control that they've had round after round that could be troublesome if Hayes finds a lot of value Gen on though in a good spot finds one almost on the second bang gets taken dangerously low mikhail's gonna go back site so he can have a little bit more time to work with i believe that's the null that does end up getting popped bang ready on the swing good spray wardell finds himself a phantom and they're gonna quickly run over to b it's gonna be the retake for gen g this has to get out if he gets one and get out that's massive wow that's amazing they managed to survive that, but still the spike ticks, and that means that they don't have a lot of time. They'll drop down. One is already down, and unfortunately Wardell not expecting a great paint shell. Yep, they're running in. He's still alive, though, and that's kind of a problem. Nature's ready. The cabbages come through. The swing is so fast for Nature. Finds an initial pick. GMD has dropped down, ready on the swing as well. There's a Viper spit, but unfortunately... GMD's waiting on the opposite end. The problem is that this is tricky. He can't hear anything and finally drops. Oh, but do they expect him to be so close? Sabroza faster on the jump, though. 2v3 advantage for TSM. The spike hasn't planted, though. They can still delay. Now it officially goes down. Levi deep in the pit. It's Mikael down on his lonesome. But still able to survive. Pop out of heaven. Blast packs already. They're ready for the combo. Zero point's going to make things even more challenging as they can't really fight back with their utility. Not that it matters, though. Quick trade, though. Now they'll go back towards the elbow. Showstopper here as well. We'll find another. Paint shells off the backboard make it difficult for Hayes, but he's got to push through. Now it's just down to the 1v1. Or 1v2, rather. Koos is going to keep him at bay. Swaps to the pistol. And Gen G take another round. Man, KO is so annoying. Ooh, setting up a paranoia. Let's see how this pans out. One player has already dropped, and it's the op who swapped over to the Phantom. Okay, Paranoia comes through, trying to get rid of that double stack. Mikhail out the swing. Two picks come easy. Now it's just down to Nature, all on his lonesome. 1v1, Wardell right behind his own smoke, waiting for Nature to prop through. And right underneath the toes, Nature finds the frag. That was a little dicey, a little tricky, but, you know, TSM didn't... Nature is playing a little bit further back from the rest of his team as he pops out it is going to be wardell that is going to be anticipating his entry john finds one in the lurker now wardell has to be careful because he could be pinched in from ramp but he's so 
focused on the swing from nature, but the jump peak, no, and he takes out Wardell too. That has to be oh, no the end. No My goodness, but there's no time. Genji. Sure, and they're just gonna walk out with it. Leviathan's got value out of this before, but how much? Uh-oh. Get a little tricky. Null Command is up and they're pushing it from heaven as well. Boost is actually able to stop players coming through. Now, Nature's gonna need a Chug Jug to get back up. So Rose is getting it deep. He's even got the flash as well. And just right there, Kusta ready to accept him with his open arms and just trying to find a weapon, something to survive is Levi. <laughs> he is down for the count. Another round here for Gen G. Nicely. They might go for the same similar style. Yeah, they're going to go again, but once again, the Viper is down, and they've got the pit as well. They're just hoping that they can hold on for Sean at the bare minimum. Kusta able to find another one in the process, and this pit is just going to delay for the rest of Genji to rotate. And TSM, you see they have to deal with it because the spike is in the pit itself. Kusta with another, now just retreating. One HP with the Sheriff, and it's Haze that puts him down. Still, two players remain. Rosa finds another as they're waiting for Genji to rotate in. 1v2, down a haze, the nature, nature, nature. Up, the wall is left. obviously only being used for B main right now. Jim D, a little bit of jump spotting through. Bang is there as well, and not much damage done, so they might get into sight. Jim D gets one, though, and Wardell and Hayes will combine for two. It's an even trade in the two versus three now. Not a lot of time left. They'll at least get the spike down and another pick. Okay, but there's a player concussed and that has to be careful somehow. Dating against a Sentinel player. Bang is here. He didn't get suppressed, but they're already in sight by that time. Nice little lineup. Frag as well to follow up. Wardell finds another one in the mid area. Three players main and this is looking like a TSM victory just down Akusa and he's all on his lonesome. Has to reload the Spectre at some point, but he doesn't really have the time to do so. Finds the 1v2. And Wardell from heaven. The value where they know that nobody pushed up, but then he kind of backs off. And right now I'm worried. Oh, Hayes, no. The timing doesn't work out. Sean's going to pounce on this too, so they should have sight. If they could just force Bang off the position, it's the Viper's Pit too. They get him, oh, wow. and that's the sight locked open. That's crazy, but there's a player in the smoke. It's Sabrosi. He's about to pop right behind him. He finds one. Now they know exactly. They know, oh my god, it's Sabrosa. Oh, four frags come through. Down to just Wardell and Nature. This is insane. Sabrosa was in the best possible position. Wardell hears Nature he sprinting down through. Who's going to get this frag? It's good for Wardell. DSM for the round. He's in a little bit of trouble. Running away right into a paint shell. Playing by the flower party's low. They know. They know. But a quick null command as well. Haze finds one, but that doesn't matter. Because nature's backed up. Boom. No problem. Sabrosa on the run, though. Knows that he's got a swing through. And nature right back up to form. Finds Sabrosa. And they're in a really good position now. TP out from the close 50. Doesn't want to be stuck there. Wants to be with his team. Bang. And Levi now have to work together. Kusta on a great angle to anticipate somebody dropping through or walking through can calm anything at any point. And watching the flank for ramp. 2v4 though. There's the drop. Levi's in. He's down. One player remaining. It's Bang. And he is stuck behind screens. He's running. He's got to. He's got oh. to. He's going to try to find some damage. Because don't forget Gen G's economy is definitely weak. Starts off with nature. A cam out. Actually spotted Bang going for more, and he wants to take everybody with him. Won't be able to do that, though, as he runs through. The Decay is on, and yeah, Jim D's just looking for him. Blue, the Cosmic Divide that can make things a little bit troublesome. They can push forward. You see Mikhail's got to get out of that close 15. The Knives are out. Here comes the push! Wardell and Bang now in combination. Down to just minuscule players here. GMD's the last man standing. Oh, man. They'll get the defuse. They'll get the round. A beautiful retake as Genji were stuck in the site. Paranoia in. He's in a little bit of trouble. The Wardell on the peak. Oh, he's past the second guess himself, but he finds the frag anyway. But two quick punches. Wardell's, though, still alive backside, and that's a problem. One enemy remaining. Nature does end up finding the frag. Has to get the spike planted <laughs> fast. Does he have enough time? <laughs> He's gonna die in. <laughs> oh, that sucks. And on the Wardell. Here it comes again. 
But this time he can get away. He's gonna actually go for no. He misses. Oh. Ow. The sheriff shot too, and he gets away eventually. Oh, and they're just pushing them back, using all the utility that they can. Mikhail funds another snake bite to not let them in from the alleyway. The plant will go down, but this is problematic because they need to fight as soon as they can. A great snake bite from Kusta to push Sabrusa out. Now three players remain. Wardell just checking his backside just to make sure the spike's ticking. The onus is on TSM to act. Two players stacked up behind. HP coming back up for some of the players that were affected by the poison cloud and the toxic screen. Wardell pushing up forward. Smokes are down. He's got to play close with this off, and that's a problem. Haze finds one initially. GMG's just looking for him. Where is this guy coming from? There he is! GMG for two! 20 seconds left. Levi's going to be the biggest problem. The smoke start to go down. The sprays through. GMG finds one, two! How does he find them? Sabros up close and personal. We'll punch right back. TSM Haze finds another. The sprays from heaven. Not enough for Sabros to finish off GMG, but it's enough nature now in a 1v2, 30 HPs. Not a lot left remaining. And he's not gonna find Sabrosa. Great hold from TSM. They're afraid, just the cage. Waiting for the spray from Hayes. Finds one, at least to start Banks participating as well. Nature's the only one that finds a consolation prize. But now he's in a 1v3. And TSM is moving fast back to the site. Sabrosa's first on the docket. And it'll be the tie game for TSM. And they have two players on site too, right? GMD on the flower pot, nature back site. So even if they pop out, GMD's just ready. Zero point. They don't have a lot of time left. 13 seconds. And it's well time to Wardell's the last player standing. He's got the pistol. Yeah, but once you drop down, he was looking for the knife. Rotate off of that. They didn't really have that much information in B main, so they can't really push past, but sprays through smoke and NA. Name a better combo right now. Leviathan gets one. Oh my Hayes god. Gets another. That's a vandal though, but it's vicious. That is crazy. Spike will still go down, means the onus is on TSM to act, but they are already here, and these trips are about to be activated. Two players stuck on the flank, and Kusta's ready for them. Unfortunately, the trailblazer is going to make that very difficult for Kusta. Shot right in the back as he walks up the ramp, but GMD alongside Mikael looking to get this done. GMD is just trying to survive, avoids the flash for the time being, finds one initially. Mikael playing in front of his trips too. Gotta go big. Oh my oh, god! The reaction time is crazy. So Bros is looking for more. Sees him around the bend, just waiting for the flash to time out. But Nature's got it. Great frag though, but still 3v4. Nature's alone here on the site. Somehow, Kusta is now left to deal with haste, and he's taken down. 3v2 advantage here for Genji. They're starting the plant. Bang is waiting for the swing, and Nature's just sitting tight. Doesn't need to play any more aggressive than he needs to the pre-fire spray for Levi. Nature's just gotta has to wait. Finds the frag just down a bang, has to playing a little bit of a different style on their attack. Waiting for the ramen peak. Sees Sean. Sees the shoe first, but he might be anticipating the swing. He wants the flash first. Oh my goodness, Sabrosa. Leaves some for the rest of us. Almost sees the last player. And they're starting to run for B, but they're ready. They're waiting in heaven, waiting for them to pop out. They're stuck. Zero point clears the back of back site. They're gonna re-clear Sabrosa, but he's still here waiting. He gets another one. Three. Oh my goodness. He gets the fourth two. He's gonna go for the content play, but it doesn't work out. One versus four now for Nature. And he's been good. On the attack right now, Wardell's deep. Oh! There it is. Every That's time dirty. you give him a piece, he goes for it, and the flash is good for Sabrosa too, but Sean, what? How does he find that one? Doesn't matter though. Kusta's down. They've got control of the site. Two players remain. This is the break in the chaos that you said. TSM needed. Wardell now dropping down. He's the TP. Finds an easy pick just down to Mikael. Shot's good from range though, but not enough to take out three more players of TSM. And now... And Genji is just going for it. Two flashes over top. The execute is through, but TSM's hiding for now. Bang will swing and get oh my two. God. This might be starting to call it right now. So Bro's gonna go for the bank and he doesn't oh. get anybody. That's big. Back that, usually Sabrosa has come up with a multi-kill when he's been in those pillar situations. Now GMD sees Hayes. Wardell ready for the peak, but you gotta be careful. Shot does look like it tags GMD. Wardell's down. Gusta takes him out. 3v2. Players are all locked and loaded, but the spike needs to be planted, and they're anticipating Levi with a little bit of antics. You see the flank now coming in from Hayes as well, coming in from B main. Nature a little bit unaware of it. Gonna recheck it here again. In a pretty decent position. Remaining. Spots him out. And now it's just down to Levi. No utility left. 
and he has to walk through the fire and the flames here as well. Nature's got the angle, and somehow... All it got was Hayes. Hayes is always in that position, and they're not expecting them to... Okay, the camera will spot them, so this isn't a big of a, big of a deal as I'm starting to make it out to be... Sean with the timing on the Sabrosa and a good peek there. GMD's peeking as soon as Sean is coming up the ropes as well. Last drive out. Sprays are starting to come through. Mikhail finds one. Nature's just... Goddamn robot. Send TSM to the lower bracket. Oh, Mordell's already given one. That's Mikhail trying to go in front of his cage for some reason. No smoke down. Leviathan also repositions off this too. So Wardell takes up Heaven and Leviathan takes up Ramp. Well, they might be thinking about going down, but Sabrosa's here. Gonna see the toes. That's spiked down. That is horrible for Gen G. Hayes is already in, in, uh, in Ramen. I was about to say Ramp. Don is like, well, this is a scary sight. I've got to go through mid. Hayes is ready and waiting for it. This was prepped since minute and second one. Now Sabros is in an advanced position because he got the smoke from Bang. Whoa, he checked camera, but still sees Nature popping through. Roomba in Awkward. to make things a little bit more troublesome. Hello, see you now. Surprise is not giving this up, but hey, it's a spike, so throw it with your body. And you already got man advantage too, so I'm fine with this. Plus the seconds, control they have on the rest of the map. I mean, they can't come through, so it has to be Sabrosa wow. taking the contact. And he's delaying them a lot because they think there's more. 25 seconds now, and they have to get through Wardell, Bang, and Leviathan. Yeah, working with the buddy system, though. Sean on first contact finds another one. Okay, things are starting to look a bit, looking a little bit easier, but with Wardell on the angle. Yeah, Sean is, like, being pulled in all sorts of directions right now. 30 seconds left, and they're still on the other side. There's a flash through from GMD, too. And they shut it down on this side. And the rotate's not even fully been pulled. Wardell looking up above, looking from heaven. Bank so low, but still the sprays don't quite find him. The flash through has to run, but Sabrosa just uses that to get safe passage to elbow. Blank goes down, 4v3. Wardell's waiting for them to he's peek go from heaven. Agra. And in the meantime, he Sabrosa, this. he's pushing up. Still has the flash, can still pop through, but he's in the smoke. He's gonna wait for them to pop in. Has the flash out, catches one. Can he find another one? Nope, does eventually fall. And somehow the pain shells, now it's just down to the op. 1v2, finds one through the flash, now it's Sean chasing him down, and another round for Gen G. But a split is what they always end up going for. This is different though from Kusta. Oh, this is just so ballsy. He's got the spike. He's got the spike. Got the spike. This is so dangerous. Mikael's down, trying to peek mid. Kusta's down. Yeah, this is like clockwork for TSM. Gen G needs something else, because this B hit is so telegraphed, and they're five stacking B main. Five players. Let's take down that camera. They know there's players ramp, and they're trying to play it safe. One player does get sprayed through the toxic screen, but it doesn't mean round is out of the woods quite yet for Genji. One player jumps up. Wardell on a very tight angle here. Not going to let them push through. He has an angle into screens as well. There it is. That was slow from Bang. They need to get the spike down. Okay, he planted for heaven too. Sean actually takes out Sabrosa, but it is planted for heaven. So Wardell could have a big impact if they manage to get their way back over. And Leviathan is playing post plant. Delay, delay, delay. That's the key for Wardell now. Here's the execute. One player pushing through. They know that at least Wardell's there. Sprayed through the wall. Just down a bang. And of course, the post plant situation. Spray. Sean is down. Okay, but still, bang will survive. Now the post plant comes in. They will at least get it to half, I'd imagine. They know that Levi is playing post plant. He's down. They should be able to get the defuse at least. This is going to be a little bit scary. Oh. Okay. That that could have been. If he died there, that's the round. For and and Nature's not close enough yet. I had that. And Leviathan's gotten the wall down for, for Sabrosa. We're down with the pick as well up in the heaven. And it's a 4v4. Bros is in such a tough spot. Levi, of course, now about to be pushed in. He hears them coming through. There's not a lot of time left. They've got to get the plant. One is down. Sabrosa finds another. That's the spike carrier. He's going to find another. They have to get the plant down. It's just down to two players. The plant is finally being executed on 2v2. This is about to get scary, Bala. They don't want to go aggressive here. They want to play together. The knife is up. Wardell's still with the dash. He uses it already, so he's going to have that up. Smoke down on screens as well. Bang, with one star, I'm not sure if he could use this. He's got to go for the gunplay. And he's so late, too. Wardell is going to be peeking this alone. The gravity well through. The swing! Oh, it's good for 
GMD! Just down a bang. He's good for one. One more player. 1v1. Controller v controller. Time. This could be it! Shots good for bang at TSM! Will they stay alive? Yes, they will. Spike defused. And ladies and gentlemen, we go again for the Red Bull Clutch. So they think it's empty. So Rosa has to check it. Ready for That's another peek. There's the injured bang. One more. Levi does manage to find a frag, but now nature is popping up. Kusta still on the B site, waiting for them to pop through. Guess who's caught right outside? And of course, the glass cannon finally works out just down to Wardell. 1v2. He can get this done. Oh. But of course, the frag's gonna make things very challenging. 51 HP. Zero point coming through. Misses that shot. That could have been crucial. They're already out on the ground. Sees nature. He's just trying to body peek first. And the style <laughs> points with the jumping classic. It's going to cost them even more utility to get out of the mail room, which is where they're stuck in right now. There's the swing. The bros are good for one. Almost good for the second. He will fall. Leviathan and bang. They've got the setup. One Raptors, one Pillar. Leviathan's going to give it up, though. And the split left. is coming. Wardell's finally here, though. So he can push through at the same time. Bang's going to get one Leviathan as well. Kusta, though, he replies with two of his own. And the one versus four, but Wardell is there again. Michael, this is game for kills. He only finds one. Can he find the second? No, Sean comes up big, but he does get punched on the opposite side. Paranoia, GMT drops down. Finds two. Two big kills. 2v2 now. Nature and Mikael popping right out. Haze is down. It's up to bang. Popping through. There's a stack waiting for him. And Gen G. 3v5, doable, but very, very challenging considering kind of the nature of how this has panned out. Bang finds one lurking around. Levi just spring through the toxic screen. 10 seconds remaining. Gen G have to act. Nature finds one, but. You know, there's a lot of TSM players waiting on the opposite end of this, and... and here's Sean and the information. Normally, Sabros is diving on him. He's gone, but the nade is good. DMD still for more. Sabros comes back up the ropes. He falls. Sean, too. Wow, and he fights kill. two on the way out. That is insane. 3v2, though, now. Is Wardell still alive? Has the spike. Needs to get it planted. Bang is going to push up forward, but DMD's just laying in wait. Oh, no! Now Bang on the retreat still survives. And Nature is going to be dealt with facing off against him. Zero point. Spike still not down. And TSM do not feel safe to get this planted. Bang. Without any of his utility. Dell still with the op 12 seconds. Same situation that happened before where Wardell was just waiting so long, but now time. And they're going to be able to push Bang by himself. No. Oh no, the Yo, frag. Oh, no. oh, he makes it out. No way. Now, the op. Nature dropped down. They don't know. Like this. They're waiting. Good shot there from Nature. Now they wrap around the pillar. They know Wardell's back. Slight or Mikael's down. Now it's just down to Nature. And he finds it. Wardell was low. The top, so they can actually cross, but they're crossing into Wardell. He's got a free head to shoot at. That's GMD. And no more smokes to adjust here. So Hayes has got a big opportunity, but shot with so far. Only one as nature trades. Now they got to fight for Supros, <laughs> but they line up <laughs> right for him. Point like. <laughs> oh, Hayes. MD's ready for you. A little bit late on the reaction, but that's okay. But they're actually going to be punching in from the opposite side. And now GMD has to be a little bit careful. Kusta. Finally finds Levi in the age-old battle. Nature spots out at least one player. Now GMD can react off the flash, maybe. Paranoia as well. They flash him back. There's just flashes galore, and GMD will fall. Uh -oh. They will double back and a... Whoa! The tail went right in. This is dangerous, because this is another player. No! The late move! Kusta will find Wardell, and they'll just drop it's, into sight. It's scripted, bro. Like, how is that happening where you said trade? It's scripted. Zero points can give a lot of strange information that uh, nobody's really playing around the pillar. Now you can see that the combination starting to come through. But Kusta was looking back there for a quick second. Still going to be watching Heaven just to be sure that if you starting to come through, Gravity Well, of course, going to stop that. They can play for this post plant. Fine. Now, of course, they have to start to act. If you starting to come through, spraying in. Now the push coming in from Sabrosa. He finds one. Can he find two? Sabrosa! Breaks the curse. Anticipate. This battle was potentially the, the game ender right there. 
for the game winner and Wardell wins that frag so this is gonna be a very troublesome hit now and they're gonna have to try again zero point coming through Levi backside the spray through just doesn't matter where doesn't matter how frag backside as you see bang here laying in wait gen G looking real Dude. rough here what comes down to this the bros with another one nature falls and there it is PSM bring us to map three after a ridiculous smoke to give him safe passage back through but they're actually pushing in fast shots are once again connecting Wardell finds the opening pick and that might be a little bit problematic because Hayes finds another still moving up quick jump up GMD my goodness 3v3 now as the rest of TSM starting to rotate from the B site and they're pushing in Sabrosa finds one but the Goomba stop from above from GMD he's just untapped an animal unleashed still though the spike has not been planted Levi's the last player standing no utility and of course the snake bite as he pushes through the ace really well from bang waiting on the opposite side Sean gets through but Wardell's there to greet him and now they'll try to chase down Wardell he will fall now Sabrosa will try to stop the push and this is looking disastrous for TSM fast way in the rotators are going to be late to the party the standard wall here to block off Anything from below. Oh, he's oh, he's got a beautiful spray he's here. Oh, he's gonna spray. No, cost him his life. Wall goes up. Now the spike to follow as well. But suppose broke two. Oh, that's a little bit problematic. The flash and finds one. Can't find the second. Or sorry, yes he does before he falls. 3v3 TP here from GMD to try to get a little bit of a different position. Oh, and he's going to find one very fast. Now just trying to get to safety. Operator is online. But here comes the hit. Oh, they going to allow them to plant. Crazy, but it can definitely benefit. Player starts to walk through. Oh, but he backs out of it. Mikael will be able to catch him, but Wardell just trying to flank around around the yellow. I like get it. Get close enough. Mikael, oh, does he spot him? No, now he's on the run. Here's this updraft over. Mikael trying to catch him, but Tailwind out. It could be really, really nice. Oh, I love this combination. They drone early, TP up from GMD, and they try to make them dance on the hot coals. They'll find a pick as a result of it. Know that maybe one is still remaining, and GMD's going to get a little bit more space. Showstopper as well. Oh, my goodness. Bang still finds one, though. And that's the spike carrier. In the meanwhile, Sabrosa and Wardell pushing up with the cabbages. They know where the location of this is. And Sean's going to get in an advanced position alongside Kusta. Kusta has to be a little bit safer. Has a lot more to cover in the kitchen. Shot from Sabrosa. He's in the kitchen by himself, but they also lost the last player as well. His teammates. This, these rounds are just clean. I mean, from, from Gen.G, they are absolutely clean. They're not giving any space down the B lane. And now they have like a three three point crossfire. I don't think Sabrosa has an opportunity here though. The sky step. Oh, that was almost clean. Did that for me. And two rounds now, they've shown me some fantastic stuff. GMD with his low. Okay, never mind. That was too much. <laughs> right as I speak. Oh, Sabrosa. This could be dangerous. Sabrosa. How does he get himself in those positions? It's insane. Kusta still finds one, but this might be a lost cause. 2v4. Unless they can use the pit against TSM somehow. One enemy remains. Uh, you... Is it Wardell's knives? Spike down A. Okay. <laughs> you're crazy. You're, a you're, a you're actually crazy. <laughs> I, Jim has, my, has been my favorite Omen Alter of all time, easily. <laughs> These last two, <laughs> I'm like, eh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a really, really good position. He can pick off the alarm box. Sean gone. Wow. Nature gone. Down, Here we hit. go. Here we go. Good adjustments. The really cool part about that alarm bot for Hayes, too, is that that's after GMD's already been lurking. 4K. Back to what works for GMD. Bang. Over top of the wall. Viper's put in. He might be able to deny shots. Wow. Stop, it's just solid play from Nature expecting that. Oh, the paint gels for the lockdown. Yes. 
Beautifully done. My How fast goodness. Is that? <laughs> that was so annoying. Oh, the up. Gone. Up. Out of commission. 2v4. 5. Give me Kyle. Look dead to me for some reason. Bike planet. Viper spit as well from Kusta to make matters even worse. Ooh, EMD avoids the turret. One enemy remaining. More exits. More of the same old, same old. One day. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is, <laughs> he could have. He, he had the potential. A little bit of an awkward spot, though. But this engagement is very nice and long for him. The push through. Shots good unto Sean. 3-4 as Wardell backs away. And this mid split was a good idea initially. But now with the res committed, they're losing members left and right. Shot doesn't connect there. Will there, though. As Goose was the last man standing up. Flawless here. Nope. Psych. That's the wrong number. PSN. <laughs> Thought that weapon dropped for some reason. Wardell still has it though. Big shot there onto Mikael. Still, they have the control of the site. Sean is trying to figure out where Sabros is going. He's going to drop down. He's in a really weird spot looking for Wardell, and he's not going to find it, but that doesn't really matter. Gen G still punch back. Spike's in a little bit of a tougher spot, and you could see TSM kind of backing away. Sean gets spotted. This is going to be round number four potentially here for TSM, just down in nature. Up the rope, on the wall. We can peek Haze. Yep. And it's going to get a lot of damage as well, at least onto Sabrosa. He's going to start healing up with the Sage, of course, and that's kind of the combination here. Sean finds one to Sabrosa early. for healing, unfortunately, nullified very quickly with the loss of his life. Still, not on the site. Toxic screen here from the defense working very well. They're starting to pull back. They do see a couple of players here, though, so they will kind of stick around. Spike Carrier officially down. The second set of paint shields not going to be ready in time. But all these members from TSM are so low. And breaking onto this site is going to be difficult. GMD, the pistol god. Left. He's here, too, with the classic. Already used his paranoia. Though. He's going to swing on the haze. He's ready for that. The kill with the trade though, and it's all Leviathan and Wardell. They're trying to through the wall. That's just brilliant. Wardell's gonna plant behind it too, so good use of his environment. Smoke available as well, but <laughs> And all TSM needs to do is to buy time, and that's really what Sabrosa's position is. It's one and done as Levi calms it all out, starts to spray. Oh no! Finds one, finds two. Paranoia to try to answer back. 2v3 now. TSM can play off the site with a lot of their post plant utility, particularly the nano swarms. It's got none. The wall is up. They have to break. They have to break fast. Smoke also on that spike. And if GMD really contains this, that Marshall is the only thing to take it out. The spray as well. He's behind the wall. Segment as well. Oh no. Seconds now. Hayes oh, is there man. just in time. Now Viper's pit to follow up. They had a lot of ultimates moving into this. Swing here from Hayes. Gonna find Sean, but still dies to the Roomba anyway. Still, though, man advantage for TSM. Hello. Nature gonna find Sabrosa, but of course, they're stuck in the pit, and they need to make sure that they can take out these members. GMD, the last man standing, and it's a great conversion. Oh, but Kusta. This is in such a good spot to drop down from Levi. Now, of course, the spike carrier is starting to come through and unfortunately gives up the angle. But he'll repeat here. Hayes has it down. Pat, but shot's good. Mikael, who notices Hayes, trying to take out his turret. And then, of course, turret down. But so is Nature. 2v3 advantage now in favor of TSM. And the backstab from Sabrosa all onto the shoulders of Sean. And, of course, who's down below? Oh, my goodness! Sean! He does it for Gen G. I've cleared a lot right now. What? Is Mikhail? I think Mikhail is watching mid right there. Oh no, Sabrosa with such a good angle. And now the leg shot as well. Is there still oh wow. That is crazy. And the res, of course, does come back to try to nullify that. Of course, the flank now starting to come through for Levi. Finds one, at least for the time being. Sean having to back away. Now the pinch from Kusta with the Bulldog. Trying to stop this as well as Kusta is the last man standing, but Sabrosa is bloodthirsty. Oh, off angle from Mikael, but he gets taken down. Very unfortunate. 
And now GMG just trying to hold off from these cabbages. Good paranoia, but of course he's going to be followed up by Hayes. That does not feel good. As Hayes does find another and Sabrosa backside. This is slowly starting to fall apart. That ultimate that Kusta placed. Not really going to have an effect on TSM. Other than saying we're going to go B instead of A. They are literally hunting this down. And this is for good reason. Again, this is for forcing. They're forcing an eco. They're basically giving themselves match point. If they really, really close this out, don't give them any guns. Who's the last person to find? This hunt is important for TSM. Rose is going to take the fight. He loses it. And in the next round, depending on what he finds, paint shells early. Levi has to push back, but they are just unloading on Genji in the middle, bringing it down to two. They've got a rest, too. You can see how long they're sitting in the back line. They want to fight back in mid. Look, they're starting to swing instantly. Bangs there. Sean gone. Oh, well, somebody re-peeks, but Kusta finds that frag onto Sabrosa. This might have been a little bit of a costly attempt you should run. at slowing down Gen G. Now they'll be together. Lockdown is well-timed, but still they have to consider the safety of the lockdown. is just for this plant. Spike planted. What do Gen G do? Nature's first, then just like that, blink, and we miss it. Good angle there for Wardell to look at screens, and of course, Nature Match dealt with point. by Bang. Trailblazer doesn't spot him out. Ooh, he's got to run to safety. Now he's in a little bit of trouble. The paranoia finds one. That's the spike carrier, and Kusta's going to punch in from the back. Two for one trade. Resurrection, though, available. TSM's been holding on to that one. You will not kill my ally. Resurrection comes in, and Sabros is going to buy some time to fight them where it hurts up close and personal can't quite control it but finds it in the end 5 hp the shots from range from mikael will be the nail in the coffin viper spit this is what they've been waiting for the plant now ready sean does have a showstopper this is what can be used to try to nullify this viper spit but tsm still stuck they want to go back they want to go back they're working their way back i think they know that sean has this showstopper that they want to use and here they go, they're gonna cross. The poison orb is up. Cross with no information. The sage didn't see, and they are second guessing. Leviathan goes through. I know that the fear of Wardell can be quite daunting. And of course, he's got the op here, but Mikael's first to peek. The cape does get spotted out. Now Wardell backs away. We're in an even fight, 2v2. Showstopper ready to go. Locked and loaded. Sean's gonna pop in. Does Wardell have the shot? No, he doesn't, but he avoids the showstopper. Now back in the way. Banks got nature just down to Sean. And TSM will move on to take on T1.